Brothers and sisters, our confession and assurance comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 6. As you may remember, we looked at chapter 5, some of chapter 5 last week in our message. This week, we hear from, from 2 Corinthians for our time of confession, chapter 6, verses 1 to 13. Paul says these words, As God's co-workers, we urge you to not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, in the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. We put no stumbling blocks in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited. Rather, as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, hardships, and distress, in beatings, imprisonments, riots, hard work, sleepless nights, and hunger, in purity, understanding, patience, and kindness, in the Holy Spirit, and in sincere love in truthful speech and in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness in the, hand, in the right hand and in the left, through glory and dishonor, bad report and good report, genuine yet regarded as impostors, known yet regarded as unknown, dying and yet we live on, beaten and yet not killed. Sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, poor, yet making many rich, having nothing, yet possessing everything. We have spoken freely to you, Corinthians and Athenians, and opened wide our hearts to you. We are not withholding our affection from you, but, our, but you are withholding yours from us as a fair exchange. I speak as to my children, open wide your hearts also. Brothers and sisters, now is the day of salvation, O oh God, and we may feel like we are hard pressed. We may feel sometimes like we are experiencing some of what God uh, shared with us through Paul, but nonetheless, no matter what our circumstances are, we have the Lord, our God, as our Savior. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much, O oh God, that now is the time of your favor. Now is the day of salvation. Lord, if our hearts have been closed to you, if our hearts have been closed to each other, if we have not, if we have not embraced the truth of being sorrowful yet always rejoicing, being poor yet making many rich, having nothing and yet possessing everything, Lord, break into our hearts through your Holy Spirit. Show us that the things of this world are nothing, and yet your Spirit and your salvation and you are everything. God, open our hearts through your Holy Spirit that we may hear the ways in which we have succumbed to the lies that Satan would put in our lives. Hear us as we confess silently, O oh God. Lord God, forgive us for having forgotten your truths that are so often in such great contrast to what the world would have us believe. 
Lord, help us. Help us to know our riches. Help us to know our life. Help us to know how we can carry on even if we are beaten. Help us to be genuine, even if others see us as imposters. Lord, thank you for the day of salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.